When you get a new camera, it's kind of like the law that you have to go out and test it, right? Particularly on an unseasonably warm and sunny March afternoon. If you haven't guessed already, this is a 360 camera, which cleverly films every possible angle and hides the selfie stick, holding it in position. I've come to watch some trains pass North Stafford Junction on the Midland Main Line between Derby and Burton. I'm going old school today, no digital trackers, no bothering with train numbers. It's all about relaxing and watching stuff go by. I've left the car at Mercia Marina where there is some convenient free parking and some rather nice shops and eateries by the way, so show them some love when you visit, eh? This is a rather nice little pond, watch out for the swans though, they can break your arm you know. At least that's what my mother told me, I expect yours did too. Eventually we cross this attractive footbridge. Have a care on these steps, they're a bit steep. Before very long you'll see another path diverting to your left, which eventually brings us out at this footbridge across the railway. Now, this bridge makes for an ideal filming and photography location, giving clear views down a long straight stretch of track. That's the remains of Willington Power Station in the distance. It closed in 1999, but the five cooling towers still stand. In 2011, permission was granted to build a new power station on the site, but the company behind the plan subsequently went into administration. Right, let's see what comes along, shall we? Well, it's a multiple unit. These are the unsung heroes of the rail network, in my view. They don't get much love, but they move thousands of people around the country every day. Another unit, the much maligned Voyager class, sometimes referred to as a vomiter due to the tendency of the toilets on them to stink out the carriages. And here's another. The lady beside me isn't my clandestine lover, by the way, just a fellow enthusiast. Even with the closure of the power station, a fair amount of freight remains on this line, with a big container terminal close by. I thought this one was going to be the Fresh Air Express. But no, a few containers still on their way somewhere. Here comes one of many track machines you'll see on the railway. This is an inspection vehicle, I think. The lady I met today was waiting for the Tesco Express, but it was unusually late and she had gone a good while before it actually rolled by. Another freight, again hauled by a ubiquitous Class 66, but this is a rarer example, still in the livery of the now defunct original owners, the English, Welsh and Scottish Railway. The junction in this location's title refers to the branch off to the right, 
That heads for North Staffordshire and points beyond. Here comes the train from crew. And one going the other way. Finally, a site to give Greta Thunberg a heart attack. This is the nuclear flask train, hauled by a 1960s vintage class 37. It might not be environmentally friendly folks, but get a load of this. trains once more. This is what I love about a day by the railway. It's long stretches of peaceful solitude punctuated by moments of high drama. I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If nothing else it makes me feel a bit better about myself. Bye for now.